coffee. So I found my beach to stay on for tonight. beautiful day and I'm gonna hike up to the top of Ivel Mountain. Dude, that is a sweet view. It was day 14. I had just arrived in Skye after a quick 45 minute ferry from Loch Meddy to Yurg. I decided to use the afternoon to check out the ferry pools located at the foot of the Coolin Mountains, a spot I missed on my last visit to Skye in 2018. After that, it was off to check into my accommodation for the evening. However, I had a slight detour in mind. I decided to pay a visit to an old friend. So, I've just arrived in Skye and uh, I've shot straight out to the old man of store. It's been a beautiful day all day, but uh, just as I started the hike, it started to tip it down with rain. So uh, yeah, not the best timing, but hopefully I'll just try my luck and it might stop when I get to the top. Really hoping to get the drone up and get some shots and some videos, but uh, yeah, this weather just keeps on closing in. So I think, uh, I don't want to, but I think I might call it. It's already nine o'clock at night, so we'll save it for another day. Changed my mind, I'm just gonna do it. It's not too much further to get to the viewpoint. It's not the viewpoint I wanted to go to, but um, I have actually been to this one before, but still should get a pretty good shot up there. Let's hope. Almost at the top. Oh mate, how's that for a view? I'm so glad I stuck that out. I was so close to turning around and it's just turned out to be a perfect evening. Not a breath of wind, the rain's gone, and I'm the only one up here. I just got some sweet drone shots as well, so stoked. Sometimes when the going gets tough, you've just got to stick it out. And in this case, it worked perfectly. The last time I visited the old man of store, it was too windy for my drone. This time round, I felt like I lucked out massively. So it is day 15, it's about midday, and I'm in Slygarken, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and basically I'm going to do a hike down to Loch uh, Karusik. Um, it's about a three or four hour hike, and the weather is looking pretty good. It could turn for the worst, but uh, I'll try my luck. Yeah, I'm basically I'm just making a bit of a plan as to what I'm going to take, as I'm going to need enough stuff for one to two nights. So I'm just going to see what the weather does when I'm out there. And if it's not too bad, I'll stay two nights. Um, so basically I need enough stuff to survive. So in my photography backpack, I've got 
all my cables that I need to charge stuff with. Um, I've also got a power bank down here and another power bank, basically, so I'm not going to be limited by the amount of batteries that I have for my drone and my camera. It means I can keep them charged, and if I'm down there for two nights, I should have enough battery to get all the shots I need. I've also got some sunblock because I keep getting sunburned. Got some stuff for breakfast and some nuts. I've got some midgy spray, some more charging devices here. I've got my drone in here, drone batteries, and then here I've got a water filter. Basically, I'm going down to a lock in the mountains, so I should be able to probably just drink the water straight from the source, but I think I'll just run it through my filter because I haven't used that yet, so that's a good excuse. I've got some toiletry stuff in here and my big lens up top. I'm going to sacrifice this lens to make some more space. That's my 16 to 35, and I'll just use the 24 to 70 that I've got on the camera at the moment. And then down here, a little power bank for my phone, tripod. That's the uh, the old pooper scooper to dig a hole if I need to do my business. And then I've got a mosquito net or a midgy net, a spoon, wet wipes, a bowl and some earplugs. And then I've got my towel, uh, some thermals in case it gets cold, uh, just some extra fruit that I'll probably eat on the way down there. And that'll be all my meals to last me two days, basically. And then basically in here, I've got all my camping gear. So I'm going to attach this bag to the bottom of this bag. And this is all my stuff locked up on the bike. So I've got all my motorcycle gear in here, chained up in a mesh bag with my helmet. So that should keep everything safe and secure while I'm gone. Fortunately, I'm parked right next to a bar. So I'm just going to have a, a big feed for lunch and then we'll get cracking. lovely dry sunny weather all morning but as soon as I have uh, set off on the hike it's uh, it started to rain that's all good if it's anything like last night's adventure that means as soon as I get to the destination it's going to be lovely beautiful calm weather so nothing to worry about it's about a seven to eight mile hike this uh, pack on my back along with the tent underneath is pretty damn heavy so the shoulders are already burning it's only been 10 minutes so it's going to be hard going, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. The scenery already looks stunning. I've just stopped for a, uh, a wee rest. Shoulders are definitely burning now. It's pretty hard going. The weather's been pretty good for the last, uh, last hour but it's starting to close in again. So I might put on the wet weather gear again. I think I'm nearly halfway there, so not too much more of a grind to go, hopefully. So I've just stopped again for a rest and completely forgot my banana was in my jacket pocket. Basically the straps on my backpack, when I had them done up, have completely squished it. So that's gonna be fun cleaning that out. Oh, not cool. Oh, don't mean to be uh, throwing this out in the bush, but uh, it's biodegradable, so it's just fruit. Oh, don't really know what else to do with it. Oh, let's give this pocket a wash. Man, this stuff is everywhere. Oh, it's probably about 95% of it gone, so that'll be enough. Top tip, don't carry bananas in your jacket pocket. Only, uh, only a few kilometers left to go. I'm pretty over carrying this pack though, man. It's absolutely destroying my shoulders. Um, I've just got to get up over this hill and then hopefully it's uh, smooth sailing down to the bottom. Who knows what this weather's going to do, it looks pretty dramatic over here. Looks like it's closing in, so I might uh, might be getting wet again. Nearly there. Whew. Putting the hammer down now. Just going to get up as fast as I can. And then have a break at the top. Damn it. It's starting to rain again. Off comes the backpack. Put my rain jacket back on. Oh. It's pretty heavy now, the rain, so uh, I've put my camera 
under my jacket here just to keep it dry. There's not really enough room for it in my backpack because there's so much other crap. Oh, there's raining cats and dogs. Nearly at the top. Come on. I was wrong. It's not the top, there's still more to go. Well, the, uh, the top just keeps getting further and further up and uh, visibility is pretty poor. And man, this bag is, uh, oh, it's absolutely wrecking my shoulders. It's giving me a bit of a headache, I think. I think there's only about two and a half kilometers to go, so it's not too far, but it's a, it's a grind. What the hell is that? Decided to carry my bag of camping gear instead of attaching it to the bottom of the bag. Just swap hands every now and then. I think that's uh, being a bit nicer on the shoulders. Oh, all right, we're at the top now. Looks like it might start to clear a bit, so that'd be nice because then I'd get a then I'd get a view. Let's see what happens for a minute. No, nah, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. I'm just going to go down. I think it's uh, it's about 5.30 now, so it'd be good to get down and I can set up camp and yeah, I think the weather's supposed to clear up a bit tonight, so fingers crossed. Sweet, we're not far now. That is Lake Korusk down there, which is where I'm heading, so I believe if we just follow this trail around here, that is our place we want to be for the night. And the trail has turned into a waterfall. No shortage of drinking water around here, that's not going to be a problem. Just have to stop and admire some of the uh, scenery going on. We've got some of the massive mountains coming through the clouds now. And uh, yeah, it feels like a scene out of Jurassic Park. It's epic. Man, this is taking so long to get down. Very slow going with all this gear. Nearly six o'clock. Definitely thought I'd be down there by now. It's also quite hard to follow the trail. Head more or less down this way. Yeah, just head down this way, I guess. Oh man, this weather is just not letting up and uh, I'm pretty sure I have to cross that stream down there and it doesn't look very crossable. And yeah, I'm a bit worried about trying to find a camping spot for the night that's going to be dry because uh, everywhere is freaking soaking. Some might say this is a brave idea. I'll probably say stupid to be honest. <laughs> oh no, it might be alright actually. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, maybe it is quite bad. Um, how are we going to do that? Get over to here. down at the lock and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty rough down here and all the terrain I'm looking at you can't really put a tent on because it's all really long grass and it's all foggy and flooded out so yeah, I'm a bit concerned actually with all the terrain coming down exactly where I'm going to go uh, I think I might just get a bit further around to the other side and uh, see if there's someone better so you're hoping weather lets up because uh, it stays like this yeah, it's uh, a bit dodgy. Yeah, I'm just a bit concerned actually. I don't think I'm going to go around to the other side. I'm a bit concerned I'm going to get trapped with all the water that's coming down. And the last thing I want to do is be stuck in a spot that I can't get out of. So, yeah, the rain is like really, really heavy now. I think what I'll do is I'll just start heading back up where I came from to see what the weather does and if it clears a bit. Uh, then we're golden, but if not, I might, uh, I might actually have to call it and, and head back because yeah, the last thing I want to do is, is get trapped down here or get stuck in a, a potential waterfall. Don't fancy uh, floating down the rock in my tent at 1 a.m. in the morning. And this uh, place is just turning into a waterfall. Pretty sketchy. 
I don't even know if I'm across here. this moment I realized how lucky I was. When I jumped to save my duffel bag from rolling into the stream, I hit my shin pretty hard on the rock. It could have easily ended in a broken leg. And being four hours away from civilization, on a mountain that was quickly turning into a waterfall, I would have been in a lot of trouble. I think I'm in the clear now. That was the, uh, the strongest of the waterfalls. Oh man, that's an epic view. Oh, I have to sit down. The rain's eased up a bit, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make up my mind what I what I want to do. I've uh, gotten halfway back up the hill from where I came from, but yeah, I'm just tossing up whether I go back all together or try and find a place to camp up top. The only problem is it's already 6:30, and all the ground up top is really long grass and is. It's probably quite boggy now as well. It's just not really the ideal place to camp. Oh, yeah, I feel uh, feeling a bit stupid to be honest, really. Um, I did read the forecast and it looked okay, but probably should have done, done a bit more research before I came out here. Even if the weather does clear up and it's fine tonight, I can't really see too many places to camp and it's, it's already 6.30, so I'm just gonna head up a bit further have a bit of a rest and uh, yeah, make a plan. Weather in harsh environments like this can change in an instant. The face I had hiked down went from a small trickle to a complete water slide in under an hour. A sobering experience and a big reminder of how humbling the mountains can be. All right, I'm back up the top now, thankfully. Uh, and yeah, there's just not really any places to camp up here. Everything's just really boggy and wet. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna buy the bullet and head back. It's gonna suck because it's gonna take like three hours and I'm not gonna be back until probably at least 10 o'clock at night. But I am part of the uh, Flygarkin Hotel. So hopefully reception's open and I can get a room. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but after uh, today's affair, I don't really care. Oh, there's some comfort in seeing the Homewood Stretch Valley down there. I'm out of the danger zone. Still got a, a good bloody seven and a half kilometer hike to go there, so just gonna slowly pick up the pace, but yeah, just take it easy because I don't want to uh, obviously twist an ankle or do anything stupid like that. second to uh to have a bit of food uh gonna have an apple and uh some meatballs and pasta yeah i'm getting pretty hungry it's about 7 30 so i'll get some more fuel in the tank and it'll make this uh last uh couple of hours a bit more easy i think oh, what a day It was now 8.30, I had another four kilometers to go. My shoulders were absolutely screaming for a break, but I couldn't bear standing around in the rain any longer. My focus remained on getting back safely and checking into some accommodation. 
so I think I'm about a couple of kilometres away now. I forgot when I originally looked at that distance, that was just in a straight line on the map that wasn't in, in taking into consideration all the zigzags on the path, so yeah, don't think I'm going to be there at 9.30, but should be there uh, hopefully before 10, 10 at the latest, I'd say. But my shoulder, I hope I haven't done any damage because I can feel the nerves twinging, especially on my right side, so we're not going to be feeling too good tomorrow. Alright, I've got cell phone reception, so I'm going to call the hotel. Try to anyway. I've only got one bar. I think I've got about a kilometre to go, so not far. Just going to power through and fingers crossed that reception's open. Alas, civilization is in sight. Oh man, I'm a broken man. Broken man. Hi there. Um, sorry, I don't have the mask. Um, I just got trapped in a bit of weather today. I was actually meant to be spending the night um, out in the wild, but um, the weather caught the best of me. Do you guys have any rooms tonight? No. Sorry. None at all. Fully, fully booked. Oh man. Um, do you know anywhere else close by that might? Maybe. Just give me a second. I ask my boss if she's here. She knows about the area. It's really difficult around here. Are, have you got a car or anything? A motorbike, yeah. Motorbike. So Port Tree is the main town. Yeah. And it's like 10 minutes that way on yep. the main road. And there's like loads of hotels there. Yeah, so okay. So you can find something and a hostel there as well. Oh, okay. So that yep. would be your best bet. Because yep. they'll not be all full. Like there's the Port Tree Hotel. Oh, okay. So just go in there and somebody, you'll definitely get a room there. Okay, cool. So sorry. We're no, not, that's okay. Fabio had already come through and mentioned. <laughs> Nothing yeah, yeah. Stuff. I actually have um, left my details with you guys just to make sure because um, basically I was going to be camping yeah. uh, like a couple of nights right. um, so my name's Logan so uh, just perfect. just letting you know I made it back okay okay perfect <laughs> okay, thanks so yeah. much but yeah just head into Portree and you'll get yeah. something definitely in there okay cool thank you so that's an absolute kick in the balls yeah, the last thing I want to do right now is put on my motorcycle gear and uh, yeah, sort all this crap out, so rough. Check this out, my foot is going to be like a prune. So much water in that, gross. Alright, let's try my luck in poetry. God, it's already 10 past 10, it's a nightmare. I've just checked into the Isles Inn in Portree. That was uh, basically the only place I could find that wasn't too expensive. It was 175 for the night, so it is quite a lot considering I would only pay like 10 or 15 pounds for a campsite, but at the end of the day, I don't care. I just need somewhere to stay and, uh, and rest up. My shin is actually a bit worse than I thought. It's actually quite swollen. I think it'll be fine. But yeah, obviously I took a little bit of a knock there. My feet are like prunes. I got some water in the boots and uh, yeah, they're looking a little bit worse for wear. I just really need to have a shower and just switch off and go to sleep for tonight. I think I'm just absolutely broken and wrecked. It feels like I've been through uh, SAS training or something like that. I'm absolutely shattered.